What up, YouTube? Y'all didn't know Big Lou tapping back in one more again. What it do with Big Lou and MZR2? Baby, baby. Bye, y'all. So check it out. This is going to be a real short one, I hope. <laughs> I say that a lot and it ends up not being, but this one is a little, you know, uh, we're on the Trump train today, you know, bashing Trump because uh, he's just a total, uh, uh, He's just a total doofus, a dodo bird. They say dodo birds don't exist, but that ain't true. That is not true. And the Republican ticket, head in the ticket, and the number two guy are both dodo birds. So somebody needs to call the Guinness Book of World Records, let them know where they're at, so they can come take pictures of them and put them into the book as dodo birds, carnival clowns. So this is about... Uh, Joe Rogan. Everybody knows Joe Rogan. Who Joe Rogan is? He used to be. He used to host that show, um, uh, Scare Factor, Fear Factor, or something like that, right? Um, before that, though, he was a comedian. He came up with the likes of um, uh, uh, Kevin James. They used to be roommates and all that. They both practiced martial arts together and all that, right? And but Joe Rogan's known for being on the UFC, uh, Fear Factor, UFC. And it was a Fear Factor scare attack. I think it was Fear Factor. But the UFC, that's what he's known as. People don't know that he's a, a comedian. I seen him just doing a stand-up recently where it was just a shorts, a, a, a YouTube shorts. And the guy said, I didn't even know he was a comedian. And he's been a comedian for years. That's why he got his that's why he got his big break, right? So, anyways, if anybody knows anything about Joe Rogan, he's got a huge, huge following on his podcast. Um I don't know what what I don't know what platform it's on. If it's on Spotify, Apple, I don't know what really what it's called. I know it's not a YouTube channel, but I'm pretty sure they they put some of his YouTube they put some of it on YouTube. Um, a lot of people use his clips from his from his podcast and put it on their own YouTube channels. Um, but I'm pretty sure they probably put something on YouTube. Anyways, he's got a I think he's got the biggest podcast. Right, majority of his stuff. Excuse me. Majority of his followers are right wing people, right? Uh, MAGA. Well, just you know, uh, and he recently was whoever his guest was. I, I can't remember. I don't know who his guest was. I um, he was talking about RFK Jr. Robert Kennedy Jr. and he mentioned something about uh, the guy said, "Oh, you like him?" Yeah, he goes, "Yeah, I'm a fan of him." He's he's the only one. He's well. First, he starts off by saying. Dem both parties, Democrat and Republicans, gaslight people. They, um, you know, they slander people. They go after people and this and that, right? I don't see that so much on the Democratic side. Yes, there are some. The majority of the time they're defending themselves, you know, but it's not, it's, 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 it's almost like comparing apples and oranges, though, especially at the top of the ticket, right? But go ahead. That's his opinion. I'm not going to say nothing about that. But he continues on to say that he used to think Robert... Robert Kennedy Jr. was a was a was a nut, right? And then he read his book, and it was something about Fauci, something of some conspiracy theories about the the the, uh, the vaccines as a, in the hole and all that. And he's like, "Holy shit!" You know. So I guess it opened up his eyes to some things or whatever, where he starts, you know, questioning things and believing things. Um, I don't know what's in the book. I don't read it, but I mean, we know that RFK is a, 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 a he's a uh, vaccine denier, right? I've never taken the vaccine, not for this this pandemic we had, because I was cool. I, even when I was in prison, I never would take the flu shot. Uh, I never would take the flu shot. Uh, they give, they offer every year, because I don't know what's in that shit, right? And in my opinion, I'm not gonna be your guinea pig. You know, these companies are probably startup companies as far as the pharmaceutical, as far as the shot itself. Startup companies, and we're, you know, we're the first test pigs. You know, the not test pigs. Excuse me, the test uh, guinea pigs. You know, outside of the original uh, uh, testing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm good. I don't take it, and I felt the same way about this vaccine. I'm good. So just for the fact that it Operation Sports Speed, right? Less than a year. We had a vaccine. Usually vaccines take anywhere from three to five years normally, right? So how could you possibly have full research on something that you're letting out to the public within a less than a year, right? And then the same individuals that's pushing uh, Operation Warp Speed, which was President Trump at the time, now he has to back off it because his supporters don't like it. You know what I'm saying? They don't like the vaccines. 
you know, so, you know, they're, they're, you know, they made comments, you know, about that. So he, he, you know, he felt it was best in his best interest to leave it alone. Okay. So Rogan says that RFK, he's a fan, right? And then Trump ends up catching wind of that and posts on his truth social, more like lies are us, right? That he, he'd like to see uh, Joe Rogan get booed next time he comes out in the UFC fight. Well, that was tonight, so I wonder what happened. But RFK, I mean, uh, excuse me, Joe Rogan comes out with a, a uh, I guess it was on X or, you know, a, a social media post saying that he, he's just, a, he's, he's it wasn't an endorsement. He said it wasn't an endorsement of RFK. You know what I'm saying? So he's already starting to pee on himself right there. Then he goes on to say, "Oh, but Trump was a was a savage when he after getting shot at he pumped his fist." I mean, come on, man. What? The, I mean, damn, Joe Rogan. I thought you were this badass martial artist. You know, tell it like it is. You know, and then you're just gonna pee on yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you would have just said alone that you know it wasn't an endorsement. I was just saying that I, you know, I like his, his style or whatever politically. Okay, you know, what I'm saying you even went to give him praise for being a environmental a lawyer and that he cleaned up the East River. So you know, if you would have just left it at that, that wouldn't have been so bad. Even though it's a little bit like you're explaining yourself, but when you threw in there like, oh, Trump was a sav, you know, come on, man, you, come on, dude, you, you, you're 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 licking the loafers too, homie. You know what I'm saying? You're licking the loafers too, man. This, that's what he wants. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's what he wants. And so you did it for him. You bent the knee. You know what I'm saying? You bent the knee. You kissed the ring. And you licked his loafers. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 uh, something else, man. Something else. You know, uh, this dude, you know, it's all about him, man. Even when people ask him questions, he's instead of him just asking the question, uh, answer the question, he'll be like, oh, that was a good question. And then he'll go on to say, oh, man, look at all the people that are here for me. You know, he's got to stoke his own his own ego all the time. And then you just help him more and puts him in the zone where he he's above everybody. And everybody can kiss his ass because everybody's nothing but bullshit. That's a word he likes to use, right? Bullshit. Hoax. You know, it's all a... Uh, it's all rigged. Everything's rigged. Everything's rigged against him. You know what I'm saying? It's nonsense. Joe Rogan, you know, you could have handled that a lot better. You know what I'm saying? I don't listen to you because I hear a lot of nonsense coming out your mouth. Like the fact, that, you know, oh, Joe Biden has an administration in the cabinet that looks like how the world looks. Brown people, black people, lighter skinned people, a little bit darker, real dark. You know what I'm saying? Gay, straight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever. Women. You know what I'm saying? And and to come off with that BS DEI bullshit is a, is is just a weak way. It's a very weak way. I would respect it more if you just came out saying the N-word and saying that the bunch of uh uh if you just came out saying a bunch of niggas and spicks or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I would respect that more. Then these sorry ass people talking about, oh, it's a DEI hire. It's a DEI hire. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, right? And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm not, you know, I said the word. I didn't say it hard ER. You know what I'm saying? I said the way the word is said on the streets amongst friends, partners, you know what I'm saying, homies. That's how they, that's what's, what's used a lot. But we know, people know when somebody uses it in the wrong, the wrong, sense right and when people are just constantly saying dei this dei that that's just a, a soft way for them to try to tiptoe by saying it without saying it you know what i'm saying and it's coward shit man straight up coward shit so you know joe rogan you're not supposed to be you're not you're supposed to be this tough dude right all cut up you know you got a hell of a workout regiment you know you got a hell of a following you got a hell of a gig you got a couple you got a hell of a couple gigs right you working for UFC and then your podcast. So you get to meet a lot of people, right, from all over the world, right? Because UFC, the fighters are from everywhere, right? Which is one reason why it didn't make sense what old Donald Dump said about it wasn't one of the worst ideas I ever had. Talking about migrant fighters and then they fight Dana's champions and all his champions are immigrants. If you want to get real technical about it, they're not from here. They're from Mexico, Brazil, 
you know what I'm saying? Ireland, Scotland, uh, Norway, Wales, Czechoslovakia, you know, all over the place. Africa, Cameroon, Nigeria, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. It's, uh, Australia, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy how this dumb shit that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth, the you know, he just proves each and every day how much of a carnival clown he is. Now, Joe Rogan, are you going to continue to be a carnival clown? Or are you going to keep it 100 and be the tough guy that you are? You know what I'm saying? I see how hard you kick that bag. You got some kick. You got some power behind that shit, man. But you know what? You don't need to back down from a, a, old, ha a old hag like Donnie Girl, Donnie, uh, uh, the drama queen. You know what I'm saying? Because you did that real fast. Oh, he was a savage. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever you said. He was he was brave or what I don't know. But you said more than that. You put a 10 on the tube, right? Which yeah, I give him props. He got shot at, no doubt about it. And what I don't like about it though is he tried to say he wasn't scared. Come on, man. Anybody that's just sitting up there like that, like a sitting duck, you don't know where it's coming from. You don't have nothing to protect you from with you know from it, and you're not scared. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I mean, the best you could have said maybe was, it happened so fast, you know, I would have bought that more. But just to say, well, I'm not scared. And then you're over there, fight, fight, fight. That's why people thought it was staged, right? That's why people think it was staged. Because the way it just, I mean, they just dropped the ball bad on that. Bad. You know, especially being warned a couple minutes before you even were shot at. And you can hear, your, you can hear yourself, you can hear you talking through the, the sound system there. From the outside, from the people, the civilians that are alerting the police that somebody's on the roof with a rifle. So they dropped the ball bad. It just looked bad. The whole thing looked bad. It looked funny because you're known to stage stuff. So you can't blame people to think that it was staged, right? And then, you know, the way it's just mysterious, you know, saying no, nothing from the hospital, nothing from the doctors that treated you, showing that you, that you, you know, that you, uh, that you that you got treated, you know, you end up getting a letter from Ronnie Johnson, I mean, Ronnie Jackson, saying that, uh, you know, oh, yeah, just normal, it's healing, though, no stitches needed, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying, so that's all crock of shit, so with that being said, I'm tapping out, Big Luke, gone.